In this video, I'm gonna talk about exercise snacks, whether or not they can help you get a better or efficient workout over the course of a day, whether or not they can help you lose weight, whether or not they can help you stay focused on your health and fitness goals. <laughs> So I have my notes over here in a blog post that I had done and we're going to jump right into talking about exercise snacks and no I'm not talking about food that you eat we're talking about breaking up your workout into bite-sized morsels and whether or not that's something you should consider matching glasses all right so the first thing it says is this if you've heard of exercise snacks, you've probably been wondering if they can help you lose weight or whether they are just another weight loss fad. Let's start with what exercise snacks are. And just so you know, like I said earlier, it is not something you eat. According to Psychology Today, the phrase exercise snacks refers to small, even tiny morsels of physical activity, such as standing for a few minutes after sitting for a while. The activity does not need to be lengthy, tiring, or involve formal exercise, although it can be vigorous if you choose to make it so. So yes, in the past, we've been told, oh, well, you know, you need to get at least 30 minutes of exercise a day. So people have in their head, they go, oh, I need to find a chunk of 30 minutes at some point in time in the day so that I can get this recommended exercise in. Maybe it's a walk, maybe it's a run, maybe I'm going to the gym, maybe it's a class, maybe I'm getting on my water rower like I do. But we keep thinking in terms of the full 30 minutes and that it has to be done at one time well if you buy into the whole exercise snack ideology then you now know that hey maybe i can take 10 minutes here 10 minutes there and 10 minutes later on all right let me shift back to this study that they talked about psychology today cited an article in sciencedaily.com it says a 2019 study that linked three short bouts or should i say bites of stair climbing throughout the day with improved cardiovascular health. The stair climbing took only about 20 seconds, yet after six weeks, participants increased their aerobic fitness by 5%, had stronger legs, and generated more power when cycling. Now tell me who would not like to increase the fitness of their legs. That is actually something I've been working on while I've been doing the squat challenge, which I haven't done like I'm supposed to be doing, which I've totally messed up. Think about why this is a big deal. The number one, number one reason why people say that they can't exercise is what? Time. We're always saying we're too busy. We got work. We got family responsibilities, community responsibilities. Some of us are working and going to school in this COVID environment. We are doing not just double duty. We are doing triple duty. And you're saying, hey, I'm supposed to fit in exercise too. I guess I can if I get up at four in the morning. Well, this whole idea sort of takes that notion and turns it on its head because if time has always been that critical component like it has for so many people that has been missing 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 and as a result you've had this really hard time to consistently fit in exercise especially these 30 minute bouts of exercise you can now break that down you no longer have to have time as your number one excuse now you might have some other reasons that come into play but that number one excuse hmm all right, let's go back to my trusty dusty post. What are the benefits of exercise snacks? Okay, so we already know we got the time thing going on, right? But let me see what this says. It says, okay, as stated in, there's a shape article that I was reading, a lack of desire to engage in regimented workouts isn't just because of the pandemic, it's biological. This is what Joe Holder says. He sort of championed exercise snacks on his Instagram account. So definitely go check him out because he is like one of the leading authorities in this, I don't want to call it a movement, but I do want to call it um, a different way to sort of think about how to fix exercise and workouts into your life. He goes, we're not naturally inclined to exercise. It's a phenomenon associated with modern living. 
He says intermittent movement, however, is something we have precedence of. In other words, yes, we used to do that when we were hunter gatherers way back in the day. Okay, so like, you know, ancestors. When we don't have to come up with a workout plan or fitness routine, it becomes easier to make time for exercise. At home, we can get up off the sofa, walk the stairs for five minutes. We can get down on the floor, do 10 minutes of floor exercises. Even if we have fitness equipment at home, like a treadmill, we don't have to plan a full three mile run. We can just walk on it while we watch maybe commercials on our favorite TV show. I don't know if people even still watch TV like that. Second benefit, even small amounts of exercise can burn calories and improve fitness. So hey, think of it as cumulative, just like you're eating. It's still gonna matter the calories that you eat if you eat a whole bunch of calories over the course of the day. You say, oh, I'm gonna eat 300 calories 20 times a day. That's a lot of calories. Well, think the same thing applies to your exercise routine, okay? You could do small bursts throughout the day and get so many more calories burned and still get health benefits, just like it could be if you were eating a whole bunch of bad stuff. And we all know what they've been saying about sitting on our rear ends. Like I should start doing my videos standing up. Okay, for the rest of this video, I'm now going to do this video standing up because standing up and moving around is a little bit more healthier than sitting on my bum. So I'm now going to practice what I preach and maybe I will start doing my videos standing up instead of sitting down. You guys are probably like, I'm ready to turn her off now. Uh, evidence shows sedentary behavior is a risk factor for several chronic conditions such as cardiovascular disease and type two diabetes. Number three, the number third benefit of doing exercise snacks, you don't have to have like all this great equipment because it's like, I'm not gonna be getting on a treadmill for 30 minutes and walking, guess what? I can walk in place. Maybe I just use body weight to do some body weight activities. Maybe I just get down on the floor. And so throughout the day, especially for those of us who are working at home, set your timer on your phone and then every 45 minutes just get up and do something for five minutes and at the end of your eight hour day add that up and you'll see what you've come up with because that's more than you would have done if you had stayed seated at that computer desk all right number four and it's not even something we're like really thinking about but it comes back to just increasing your health and your productivity and so if you're at home working, your mind is just going to get tired and you're going to need to get up and have a break. Why not use that break as an opportunity to get in some exercise, to get that blood flowing again? And then when you sit back down, you feel refreshed. You go outside and you take a walk to the end of the corner or the end of the block, wherever you live. And you come back and it's a nice day and it's sunny out there. Okay, now sure. You're probably going to be wishing at that point in time that you were just outside and could stay outside. But you know, the idea of just taking that mental break will give you an opportunity to, to like have a better productivity when you sit back down and you won't be like, Oh my God, I can't wait for this to be over. Now let's get to the main question that was here. Can exercise snacks help you lose weight? Well, the answer is it depends. If you're not already exercising, then the benefits of adding exercise snacks would be similar to adding any exercise, right? You're expending more calories and possibly building muscle. Since you weren't doing those things before, it's likely that you could lose weight. Assuming that you don't increase calorie intake in the process. If you're already exercising, but you're using this as a way to burn more calories, then it's possible to burn more calories than you otherwise would have. All right, so that's it. <laughs> I don't know if I did a really good job of talking about exercise snacks, but I'm trying to do more of that and not just my main workout, just sort of keeping in mind um, that I'm not sitting so much throughout the day and that I can just get up and go do like something, even if it's just like hand weights, doing hand weights for like 10 minutes. And I've really tried to do more of that in the evening when I'm not like really exerting myself, but it's a good way to sort of get that extra exercise in or something in that I wanted to get in earlier or at the gym and didn't get a chance to do that. 
as I'm wrapping this up, let me, let me talk about one of the problems that I did notice with exercise snacks is that it does mean that you have to take into account what you have on. Because I'm an attorney and sometimes I'm out at arbitrations or at hearings, I'm not exactly in a tire that makes it easy for me to fit in an exercise snack. And that can be difficult to say, hey people, get up and do chunks of exercise when you're in a suit and heels or a dress and heels. And when you come in, a lot of times we'll take those things off, but I don't have time to shift in and out of clothing. And so if I'm just working at home, it's easier to do that when I'm at home, but it can be really tough to sort of say, hey, I'm gonna come in every hour and do this, but still have on a tire that looks professional when I'm on my Zoom call for a professional meeting. That is definitely something to take into account. And I think that's been the biggest issue with me in terms of fitting in more exercise snacks in my, in just in the course of my day. But that's it. I hope you got something out of this. I feel like it sort of rambled a little bit and was all over the place, even though I had notes that I was working off of. Yeah, I guess I gotta work on that. Maybe I should have used the teleprompter. Maybe not. But I did get through the rest of the video standing up. I probably should have backed up some. And um, I am gonna try to do that a little bit more because I really don't have to sit down when I'm doing that. And subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Like the video. Let me know in the comments if you do exercise snacks, what you think about it, if you think it would even work with your lifestyle. Because like I said, it can be tough to, to do something like that over the course of the day. And maybe I'll do a video that says tracking how I did exercise snacks while working as an attorney. Woo!